2,100 kilometers. That's the total range you can get with BYD's new hybrid on just one tank and one charge, not even Tesla can match that right now. What are you doing differently that Tesla is not doing? Uh, we have more models. So, just a very simple example, we have 7 to 9 models. Their newest engine, which is part of BYD's 5th generation hybrid system, only uses 2.9 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers when the battery is low. It's not just an electric car, it is a high-efficiency hybrid that runs longer at a cheaper price. So, what exactly did BYD create in the name of a new engine, and how is it going to change the EV industry forever? Recently, BYD launched its new SEAL 06 and Chanel electric vehicle models, however, the highlight of the show was their whole new hybrid system. It is a plug-in hybrid that now gets 2,100 kilometers of range on one full tank and one full charge. That's almost three times what regular gas cars can do. The reason behind this upgrade is BYD's newly released fifth generation dual mode system. DM basically means it is a plug-in hybrid, so you can drive with electricity, with fuel, or both. But, you know, this version is not like the old ones. It is not like you will be switching between fuel and electric. In this new system the electric motor does most of the work, and the fuel engine is there just to support it. That's how they have pulled off this crazy fuel efficiency. When the battery runs out, instead of chugging through fuel as most hybrids do, this system uses just 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers, which is basically nothing. Most fuel cars use around 8 or 9 liters for that same distance. BYD's system is pulling off one-third of the fuel and going three times farther. So, how did they do it? They rebuilt almost everything. First up, the engine. It is a 1.5-liter petrol engine, and honestly, the power numbers look pretty average, around 99 horsepower, but that's not even the best part. The real secret is how efficient it is. Most car engines waste a ton of energy as heat, but this one doesn't. It runs at 46.06% thermal efficiency. To be clear, that's the highest of any mass-produced car engine right now. Toyota used to hold the crown with 41%, and now BYD has jumped past them. So, how did they get there? It wasn't easy. According to BYD engineers, they ran over 240 different combustion experiments just to get the fuel mix right. Then they tested over 100 different cooling methods to stop the engine from overheating when they pushed it harder. In the end, they managed to raise the compression ratio, which is the pressure inside the engine. They raised it from 15.5 to 16. That small number change took a ton of work, but it paid off. The engine now runs more cleanly and uses less fuel per mile. Something that most people miss is that this engine does not run all the time. In fact, it is designed to turn off as much as possible. When it does turn on, it stays inside what BYD calls the high efficiency zone. That means the engine is only active when it can run at peak performance. So, you are never wasting fuel idling in traffic or crawling through a parking lot. The electric motor handles those boring low-speed jobs. So, BYD also unveiled their new motor. There are actually two options, depending on the model you pick, either a 161 horsepower version or a 215 horsepower version. The first one is really for folks who want good fuel economy. The second one? Well, it gives you a little more punch on the highway. Either way, you're getting way more flexibility than most hybrids offer. BYD is basically letting you choose how you want the car to behave, and honestly, that's a smart way to go. But, you know, the engine and the motor are just part of it. The powertrain, the whole system that actually moves the car, has been redesigned too. BYD packs seven different components into one controller, which saves space, cuts down on wires, and makes everything run faster and smoother. It also means less energy gets lost while you're driving. According to their data, this new system reaches a total efficiency of 92%, which is, honestly, huge for a hybrid. Another upgrade is that the electric hybrid system now has 70% higher power density. What that means is, it gets more power out of the same space and weight, the parts don't have to work as hard, and the car just feels more responsive. That's the kind of thing you usually only see in really expensive performance cars. But these were not the only upgrades made in their new vehicles. What other incredible features are their new cars going to have? It's their blade battery, which is the core of what makes their hybrid system work so well. So, what exactly is it? The blade battery is BYD's own version of a lithium-iron phosphate battery. Most electric vehicles still use nickel, manganese, and cobalt batteries. Those can overheat, cost more, and come with supply chain issues. B 
BYD skipped all of that and went for LFP, which is cheaper, more stable, and way less likely to catch fire. Instead of stacking the battery cells like blocks or rolling them up like cans, BYD made them long and flat like blades, then they lined them up edge to edge in a pack with no wasted space between them. That's why it's called the blade battery, that's literally what it looks like. This entire dawn bro. They are in different dar distain. When they are done dress, this nice for darn. Read, we start then grow. Gives an yar, where it gives you more power in less space. Compared to regular LFP batteries, the blade setup increases energy density by about 50%. That means they can fit a powerful battery in a smaller package without giving up performance. And in plug-in hybrids like the Chin L or Seal 06, that space saving leaves more room for fuel tanks or other systems. Now, let's talk about safety, because honestly, that was the first concern when this new battery was introduced. Most battery fires in electric vehicles happen when the cells are damaged and overheat. The blade battery passed what's called the nail penetration test. That means, they literally stabbed the battery with a metal spike, and it didn't catch fire or even smoke. If you try that with most other batteries you will witness a dangerous mess, the blade stayed intact, which was a big deal. Cooling also got a full redesign. In older battery packs, the cooling system didn't always reach every part of the battery evenly. Some areas stayed hot, others cooled down too fast. That leads to wear and tear. BYD fixed that problem. They switched from a T-shaped cooling layout to an S-shaped one. This simple shift improved temperature balance by 45%, keeping every part of the battery closer to the same temperature. Speaking of long-lasting, the blade battery is built to go the distance. After 3,000 full charge cycles, it still holds 90% of its original capacity. Most batteries start to fade long before that. For the driver, this means fewer replacements and lower costs over time. The battery also charges fast thanks to low internal resistance, and because it's tightly packed and part of the car's structure, it makes the car stronger too. So, in short, the blade battery actually fixes most of the problems that other electric vehicle batteries still have. It's safer, tougher, lasts longer, and honestly, it's cheaper to build. No wonder BYD made it the center of everything they're doing right now. But BYD didn't just tweak a few parts and call it innovation they went ahead and rebuilt almost everything. Starting with vehicle aerodynamics, BYD applied dozens of refinements aimed at reducing energy loss during driving. The Chin L and Seal 06 feature active air intake grills that automatically open or close based on cooling needs. When cooling is not required, the grills remain shut to reduce frontal drag. Alongside this, the cars use low-drag brake calipers and ultra-low rolling resistance tires which minimize friction between the tire and the road without compromising grip. Each of these features shaves off energy use, particularly during high-speed travel or long-distance driving. The car's overall shape and chassis also underwent changes to improve airflow that help lower the drag coefficient on multiple models. What that means in simple terms is the car faces less resistance while moving, especially at higher speeds. Less drag means less power needed to cruise, which means the electric motor lasts longer and the fuel engine burns less. That alone helps stretch the range even more, without changing the motor or the tank. Inside the system, they didn't waste any opportunities either. They replaced a bunch of separate control units with one compact setup. It's called the 7-in-1 powertrain controller, and it handles everything from the inverter and the motor controller to gear shifts. Combining it all in one place cuts down on wiring, weight, and power loss. It also makes it easier to assemble.